It has been nearly three weeks since Houston Police Chief uh, told Houstonians that a number of sexual assault investigations were suspended due to a lack of manpower. Well, now the mayor announced there will be an independent review to look at more than 264,000 cases and how they were handled or not handled. Today we expect to hear from the chief about what's next. Brittany Jeffers live from HPD headquarters downtown. Yeah, Owen and Sophia, the bottom line here is the mayor says that he wants to have the department and the chief's work reviewed. Now, as for Chief Finner, he does have a press conference that is scheduled to take place at 1130 today, and he's going to be providing an update on those deactivated cases that we've been telling you about. So as you referenced, this stems back to nearly three weeks ago after Chief Finner revealed a significant number of sex assault cases were suspended in records. Now, among those, were 4,000 sexual assault cases. The chief told KPRC2 that multiple divisions used the suspended code, adding up to 10% of all the department's cases during the last eight years. For three weeks now, KPRC2 Investigates has been pushing for answers, and we've learned that Mayor Whitmire has made the decision to hire a third party to review the department. In an interview with KPRC2 Investigates, the mayor said that there will be a panel of individuals, but he did not give specifics on on who those individuals will be. I'm going to have a review panel to review his work and give us their perspective, their independent uh, opinion as does this really get to the bottom of it. I need that assurance. Houstonians need that assurance. As for Chief Finner, yesterday he put out a statement saying that he welcomes and supports this independent panel, adding the announcement by the mayor is a vital part of transparency and accountability that he's been promising since announcing this review process. So the chief then went on to say that this news conference will provide an update on that internal review, also their efforts to contact victims and what happens next. That press conference is scheduled to begin at 1130. We're going to have some of our our reporters with the KPRC2 Investigates team there. And of course, we'll keep you updated on any developments. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.